All right, here is the video review for the Transformers HasLab Victory Saber, uh, Victory Leo and Star Saber in a package along with a couple of MicroMasters, uh, Holly and Fire here, who we'll talk about first uh, when we get into it, just to get them out of the way. They did announce after Death Source had funded that Peepo and Boater will be coming with him. Uh, I, when I, uh, my buddy Ron Razorwire uh, hooked me up with the Victory Saber, because I uh, did not have, I didn't have the money to back it last year, but um, got him now, and I'm super happy I did. I, when I learned that, I backed Death Source last second, and then canceled Death Source last minute because I just I don't have a lot of attachment to that character. Um, although if I'd known the MicroMasters were coming, I would have left that fundraiser. I would have left that support for it. But alas, um, so yeah. Really fun. You can see it comes with a um, comes with a base, a display base for both vehicle mode, and it can convert for robot mode in much the well, in very similar style to some of the uh, Macross Valks and uh, uh, the way their their base is rearranged. Sorry, I'm a little distracted here, but uh, it is it does support it fairly solidly. You can see it is a little wobbly, uh, especially here in uh, vehicle mode, just because of the way the balance of uh, weight is on the thing but it, it's secure enough i mean you'd have to really knock this thing although i worry if you get it going too bad you could snap the plastic but um just as a display piece it's not too bad it, but it, it is a little wibbly especially here in vehicle mode it's a little more solid in robot mode but yeah, here's the jet on the stand real quick we'll talk about the micromasters they're just repaints here um there is a, you think you just saw the extending ladder here nice can rotate as well um they're not they're the same mold so with the same issues um although apparently the the legs are reversed on holly and um there you go there's fire in robot mode and they like to pop off and apparently the solution is there's a bit on the hip that you can trim off but this looks like it this actually looks like it's even so i'm not sure on the original the the back piece the back half of this hung down a little bit because uh, see like i said they like to pop right off just how they are you can kind of can you can you ease that by flipping everything else out first i don't think so but we'll try let's flip that down nope it just really likes to pop right off so annoying it's a common problem. I've read about it. Um, so, but there we go. There's the two of them together. MicroMasters. It's nice that they included them. Uh, and again, with the other two coming with Death Source, you'll have the whole res I think Rescue Team Patrol or Rescue Patrol uh, released. Put them up on the stand there if you want. But uh, not the draw of the package. At least for some people. I actually know some friends who only wanted these guys, which is fair. Collect what you collect. Anyway, on to Victory Saber, Victory Leo, Star Saber. We've actually been bumping this up against the backdrop, so it's folding that wing down. I'll go ahead and take it off the stand. And then there's a little connector piece right here that we can go ahead and pop off. Oh, can we get it off? Come on. the first time i've ever had this much trouble getting this thing off of here there we go it's just got a little slot that pegs in now the stand itself we'll go ahead and transform this for robot mode it basically just slots out here and you could put it you could have it either way uh although actually this way you want to go this way it's got more it's got more depth so um attach it like this with the, this part facing forward and the angle part in the back now the instructions say to take this and attach it there's there is a little kind of nub here that you can attach this to but it's, it's not a full post. It just kind of sits there. And it's very easy to, to knock this loose. Uh, even when it's fully connected. Although now it doesn't even want to stay on. There we go. It'll stay there, but it, it doesn't take much to knock it loose. When it's easily, just take it, put it on the opposite way from ship mode. Just peg it back onto there, pointing down. And you'll still have clearance up here for the robot. And then that's on much more securely. You're not going to knock it loose. I don't know. They should have made that a full peg there, especially since it doesn't interfere with any other part of it. They could have easily just had that come out and been a full peg, but whatever. Anyway, that's the stand for robot mode. 
Nice little V-saver there. We'll set that off to the side. So here's the combined jet. Now, it does come with these blast effects. One of these guns is a little droopier than the other, but the weight of the blast effects does actually want to pull those down, especially if you get to swooshing around. And he is heavy, but fun to swoosh, although the actual just saber bit of it, I think, is my favorite part of the whole thing. But, uh, but yeah, big, nice big... Kind of, like, everything except for the small saber robot in vehicle mode is kind of a... It's a spaceship because we say so. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Big ship. You can also separate these two into two smaller ships. We'll take the large gun off of here. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Go ahead and take the blast effects off. These are the same three, like see some of them are slightly warped. I haven't fixed them yet, but same three piece blast effects just in green we've seen before. And they attach to the cannons. They can attach, uh, you can attach them back here as thrusts, yeah, fl thrust flares in ship mode. I'm just gonna set them off to the side. You also get a very, uh, get a sticker sheet for a couple of these wing pieces. And I don't know why they didn't just paint them but also a, a very substantial uh, instruction booklet here. The box is actually really nice too. I'm not gonna try to get that on camera. I do not have the space here to get the whole box, but it's got a nice reversible slip cover on it. Um, inside it's just a box with plastic trays, but the, uh, the actual packaging itself is very nice. So anyway, take the gun off, pull the shield up off of here, and then you gotta, this snaps into Victory Leo, so you gotta really, this blue panel, you got to snap up. Getting it detached can be a bit of a pain. Because there's not quite enough of an angle. That, there we go. You can see these tabs snap into these red clip pieces here. And once that's done, you can just kind of pull the legs slightly apart and detach. So there's some slots here. The slots down to the actual slots for the tab, so you can kind of slide it in there. Um, and then you can close this back down. And then the shield... You can leave this right here, but you can pull, pull this back up to up here and then reattach the shield right here. Actually, you want to rotate it around so you got the clearance. Then peg the shield right back on here. And then you've got the smaller, you got the Star Saber individual as a ship. And then you can take Victory Leo here, flip this down, and then uh, open this up. Flip out these pieces, flip out these pieces. Like this, and then the cannon actually folds down. This is like, is, it, is this what clips on? I'm trying to remember how the cannon attaches. So I feel like it clips on somewhere. Does it clip on right there? No, hold on. I gotta check this out. The cannon it does attach here, and I'm pretty sure it uses this clip. Did I not flip something out? Hold on. One, one, one second. Let me double check this. Well, Victory Leo is probably the weakest. Vic Victory Leo ship mode is the weakest part of these instructions for me. I can bring this down a little bit too. All right, figured out. The clip mode is for lion mode, which, which you do want to do. You, here you want to flip this up like this, and then there's a square hole right here that pegs on right here on this piece is right here. So you take this and peg it on like this, and there you've got Victory Leo ship mode. Here are the two spaceship modes side by side if you want to display them as such. Although, granted, the stand can only hold one of them, uh, and it's going to be Star Saber because he's the only one that really has a slot. Maybe you could get that in there? I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, there's your spaceship modes. And, again, Star Saber looking a little bit more like an actual spacecraft. Uh, Victory Leo looking kind of like a, uh, you know, again, kind of because we say so. But it's a big flying gun. And then Leo can also... And here's where we'll use the clip. We'll go ahead and take this gun off of here. And then fold the legs down and around. They'll clip into place. And you can go either direction on this. Flip the legs down so they click into place. Bring the uh, forearms down here. Forearms down here. Flip the lion head down. Okay, open these. Now his main flares out but you want to kind of do that on the way down because it's very easy to uh, push those main pieces flat against his head. And once he's in here, these ridge pieces make it hard to flip them back out. 
And you can flip his guns around, fold his wings in, just shorten a little bit. Oh, fix your, fix your legs there, buddy. And then right here is where, well, no. Um, oh, right, and then this piece flips back. And this right here is where the uh, is where the gun clips on. Uh, they take this, this up. There's a little clip right here, and you want to clip it. There's a top clip, and that's for uh, the backpack. Like this is, you can kind of get it to sit there, but it doesn't actually clip in. There actually is a hole here for this peg to go into. So you want to clip it all the way down. It has just enough flex. There's a, some thicker tabs to t peg all the way down like that. And there's, and again, you can see at doing this, I have pushed that main in. And again, to get that out, you just got to lift his, you know, unsnap it. It's a little bit of a shame there. I wish that the main clicked out a little bit if it's supposed to be flared out like that. The legs haven't been that loose for me. I don't know why I'm smushing them down. But there's Victory Leo in his alt mode. And since we've already got this bit done here, we'll go ahead and take Saber out. Right here, just open up these panels, pop the smaller robot out. Uh, flip up the fins, flip down the wings. And this is my favorite part of the whole shebang, and it was with Masterpiece Star Saber as well. Saber by himself, as the small little rocket ship with a little pilot inside, we'll get him out in a minute, don't worry, he's very teensy. Uh, I love this. Fly, swooshing this little guy around, eminently swooshable, looks like a spaceship, got some thrusters on the back. I, I love this chunk of it. I mean, I like the, I do like the whole thing overall. Even the, the super robot mode is kind of nice too. But it has kind of a... It feels a little bit like a generic su Japanese super robot versus a transformer. But um, but it's cool enough to look at. But this little guy, fantastic. But there's the ship mode. And then from here, pop this out. And this is... This guy is so teensy. This, like, I, I knew he was tiny... I knew this little Brain Master was super teeny, but like, look at that. He's just teensy. He's like the size of a dime. He's just a teeny, teeny little dude, and I like it. Um, but you do want to be careful because his little flip-out face is transparent plastic, it looks like. Actually, no, is it? Yeah, it's painted blue. Um, I was supposed to say, no, it looks pretty solid blue, but his visor is clear. The whole piece is clear plastic, so just be careful. As long as you're careful with everything on this, unless it arrives in, in a damaged state, and some people have had some issues with some of the chrome being chipped. Um, I haven't really noticed anything. If there is, there may be some very, very minor microscopic imperfections in the chrome, and some of those may have even happened since I got it, but it showed up in uh, no quality control issues. Um, I know some people have had, have had some suffer from those. Uh, with different wrong leg panels or anything. Thankfully, everything here came proper. But yeah, so we'll take him, we'll set him off to the side for now, but I really, I just love his teeny teeniness. He's so teeny. Like, here, he, here is him, here is Micromaster. He's just so teeny. And then the ship, we come up here, go ahead and pull the nose cone off, like that. Um, leave that connected like that. And then here, go ahead and unpeg the arm, or fold the wings up, pull the arms out. It's a very basic transformation. Uh, flip out the hands, uh, flip down. Actually, no, you want to leave those up. Don't flip those, those panels down. That We'll use those in a minute. Pop these open. This is what we do right here. Fold these panels flat, and then open up the back, and then his knees come out and around like that. And then we close that panel. Come on, snap together. There we go. And flip out the foot. And then do the same over here. Like that. Like that. Flip out the foot. And there he's mostly done. And then come up here. Open this up. Flip out the empty head. And this is what's cool. Um, they got some cool engineering in here. But then you take your little brain master buddy. And very carefully flip the face up. Very gently. If it's stuck, don't force it. I mean, like, I haven't had any issues with mine, but uh, just do be careful with it. And then you put him in here, and he makes the face. You can see his other little body in there as he makes the face. And you close this up. But before you close it up, his head does turn because that whole assembly in there turns with the, with the uh, Brain Master in it, and that's super cool. Like, just some nice engineering 
for that whole column to turn. So once this is closed up and snapped into place, he can still turn his head without uh, messing with the MicroMaster or twisting or stressing that joint there. And then you can attach this right here on his shoulder. And you can also, if you want to, the instructions show him giving him this gun. This seems a little big for him, but uh, I mean, I guess not more ridiculous than a lot of old Transformer weapons. But you can give him that gun if you want. There he is with Victory Leo, with the rest of the V-Star. And also, just for a size comparison, here he is with uh, Earthrise Optimus. I think it's Earthrise Kingdom Optimus? No, Earthrise. Um, so he's, he's roughly deluxe size, maybe a small deluxe, height-wise. But looks good. Like I said, he's my favorite little bit. If he wasn't a super expensive HasLab containing... That super teeny micro or brain master, um, he would this guy would definitely be a carry around in my pocket figure or you know, in my work bag or carry around with me. But the 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 the, the, the idea of losing the tiny dude would uh oh, it drives me nuts. But he's got you can see he's got a turning head, ball joint to the shoulders, as well as a hinge right there. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel, a single hinge elbow, ball joint wrists, so he can get some wrist articulation. Hollow forearms, unfortunately. But he's got waist swivel, dual hinge hips, thigh swivel, single hinge knees, and he's got some ankle tilt side to side, a little bit of toe articulation. So pretty articulate for a little dude. You can also take, set these guys off to the side. You take this, we'll take the shield off. This kind of becomes a base in you know, we'll, we'll, sure, we'll call it a base mode. Go ahead and untab the, the legs here from the arms. Pull these up. And untab the... You kind of basically just rotate the arms forward here. Um, flip the legs out to the side. I think, yeah, I think you actually extend the legs here. Open up the panel. Snap them into place. Oh, again, open the leg, bring the leg up, snap it into place. My right leg is a little looser once you've got the leg locked in place than my left. But, um, you know, just the way it is. And then, like, the shield attaches here somehow, or does it come around here? Like this? I'm not entirely sure which direction it's supposed to face. Base mode is an afterthought. Um... I haven't messed with it that much. All right, actually, I, I had it right the other way. This comes in here. This folds out, and then there's a couple. There's a couple slots right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that tab on. Lift this. Pop this headpiece off. And it should it clips on, right here. And those clips. So you've got some guns here, and then these little tabs here peg into the shield. Although not super securely, but. Shield pegs onto these tabs. In the way here, let's see. I'm supposed to tab on right here, but man, that there we go. It kind of just sits there because the shield doesn't want to. This piece right here gets in the way. It's not not this piece. The uh, the actual crotch piece gets in the way. But whatever. It's it's just kind of a stand it up and make it a base because we say so. Like you got a gun here, shield kind of rests up here. Um, Can't get it to stay forward. Good enough. Put the gun over here. And then Saber can man the base as it all falls apart behind him. Yeah, there you go. So there's a base mode technically. Uh, will it ever see this mode on my shelf? No. So just FYI. It's there.
I could probably get that shield to stay on if I messed with it a little bit more, but who cares. We'll set them off to the side. We'll go ahead and focus on Leo again for a minute, uh, in which case we'll pop this gun off right here. And we'll start turning him into a robot. And basically, we're just going to fold the lion legs back up here. Come on. We'll take these all the way around until they're folded up just like that on the leg. Flip his little toes down, split the legs apart, and fold these panels back in. Let's see, we never go there. This is toes. Uh, open up this part. And when you're collapsing these leg bits, there's a tab here that fits into a slot on the inner bit, and a tab up here that locks it into the upper body. So when you're closing this up, Put that tab in that slot and that locks the leg in the extended position when you're folding them back up to close them it helps don't fold this down and then try to close this into the place you can force it but the tab kind of catches on the leg fold it about halfway and then start moving this so that tab meets the slot as it's folding up and then just push the slot in to lock it down into place and fold it the rest of the way it's a whole lot easier that way um, than trying to force this down because you, you you can force it but that's going to damage this tab so uh just a little tip there. Like that, bring his arms down. Now you see the underside of his guns are hollow, which is a little disappointing. There is a filler kit being made for it, but for a HasLab price, it does kind of, I do kind of wish they had put some pieces in there to fill in those guns, but whatever. At this point, it is what it is. Fold the uh, lion arm up. Wait, wrong way. Fold the lion, fold the fist through so the lion arm goes into that hollow space and fills the forearm. And then rotate his fist forward. And then up here, pull the horns out to the side. This little panel, I've seen some breakage on this. Push the mains in on this panel. So just be careful. It, it can be a little stiff. Um, he did, also has lion mouth opens too. I don't think I show that off in lion mode. Not much, but there. Um, so just make sure you're not... Like there's a there's a point in the middle where it gets a little bit of resistance, so just make sure to support it up here. Don't go crazy because I've seen some breakage at that hinge. But there's Victory Leo in robot mode. He does have a ball joint on the head, so he can look side to side. Double hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, single hinge elbows, wrist swivel. He doesn't have waist swivel because this whole thing splits in half, but he's got ratcheting thighs. Thigh swivel, decent knee. No, his toe tilts, but the uh, rest of his foot doesn't. And uh, he's got some toe articulation there. And again, as a quick comparison to Optimus, he's a little bigger. Certainly, uh, his well, his body, his the core of his body is about the same. He's got a much larger head, plus the wings and the guns here. And then, of course, now that we've done all this, it's time to go to putting this big guy together. So we'll take the core, the main chunk here, pop this off, flip the antenna up, fold the face down, set that off to the side. Take the gun here. Take the legs. You can see he's got the sword blade that stores in his leg. You can store it in either leg, and there's a cutaway in the arm, so when you lock it up into alt mode, that little tab of the sword can stay in there. Go ahead and take the tab out, flip his toes forward, and then the smaller toe forward. So big, big part, red part of the foot comes forward, mm -hmm. and then there's a smaller toe that flips out of it. Like that. Click all that down. Fold these hip panels down here. Oh, you see, there, there's the leg that comes loose. Now fold the arm down. Take this panel, collapse it up onto his back. You can see there's some pegs here that allow that all to come together. Open up these panels. The arm, open this up. And just like on the legs, swivel the arm extension up. And then the fist just comes out down here. Um, and you'll notice here he's got the same kind of hidden ring in his hand that I believe Jetfire, Skyfire did. You open it up, the ring kind of doesn't retract all the way into his hand, but the ring retracts with the open hand, and when you close the fist, it actually gets a 5mm peg 
or peg hole in there to hold weapons and such, which is nice. Same thing over here. Click that down. And then you got the core body ready to go. I'm sitting. Why aren't you sitting all the way forward? I feel like I'm missing something. On the, oh, this foot didn't come all the way forward. Come on, foot. There we go. Got stuck a little bit there on the corner. Now he's sitting flat. There we go. So take that, and then we'll take Saber here. If you want, you can go ahead and give him his small rifle. Actually, that's not where you want that. Hold on. Take Saber. Take this piece out. I'm going to turn him mostly back into... Uh, well, now you're mostly back. Pull his arms down. Open up these. This is where we flip these panels down. Fold his feet back in. And you need to fold these panels down to allow these to flip up and then hinge around like this. Um, that should be going... Oh, you need to collapse. Sorry. You need to collapse the legs again. But say this would be shorter. Bring it like that. Close that up. Same over here. Open this panel. Come on. And then you do have to, these will peg back together, but you want to fold them up and around first because otherwise, if you haven't pegged together, these pieces will meet with the crotch and they won't actually let you fold the legs up and around like that. Once they're folded up, though, you can peg them back together and flip this up. And there's a couple of small grooves here on his chest that these little tabs, they don't peg peg into, but they just kind of slot slightly into. It's just more, it's more of a, it's not a secure position. Uh, you also bring his, swing his crotch forward a little bit. Uh, but it's just more of a guide to where those should go. And you can take this and take him, slot him into the body here, all the way back like that until he clicks into place. Now these tabs right here they're, uh, that, we, that we're used to hold the shield on, there are some slots here. You can see right there that, that tab into uh, the red bits there. So snap that all the way into place. And then fold the fins back against that. And now you got Star Saber with a teeny head. And we know how to rectify that. Just take the Star Saber head, pop it on over that. And because of the mechanism already built into Saber himself, the head still turns with no damage to the Brain Master. And there's Star Saber. You can take this, extend the handle. Now the sword can go, be careful with this because I've seen a couple people break one of these tabs. The sword can go in sideways in relation to this, like this, just fine. And this is more traditional, like the old toy. But there is a groove here, an alternate groove this way, that I one, for some reason mine one way goes in very easily, another way it wants to tilt up. But you can push this in and slide this in straight this way. See, that's that's the way that one's up. I don't know if it's having to do with these tabs or if there's a piece of flash in there or what. But you take this and you can slot this all the way in and you can have it in a more traditional forward-facing blade when he's holding it in his hand without this getting in the way of his uh, his shoulders. Or not his shoulders, but his, uh, his forearm. Come on. There we go. So you can give him that. You can give him a small laser pistol. You can, uh, the shield piece here can clip right here or rotate around. These clips can go on either arm into these slots. Because of the angle of this piece, sometimes it looks, you'll think, oh, I've got it on, and you're not actually, you got to make sure it locks into place at a straight angle. But, uh, so he's got a shield. You hunch forward, there we go. He does have, you saw that he does have the ab crunch there. It's not a big one, but he does have an ab crunch. In combined mode, which is nice. You got ratcheting show up. Oh, well, there's his sword popping out. Let's put it in the normal way. Uh, but he's got ratcheting shoulders. Uh, pretty stiff hinges out to the side. Um, he does have a little bit of a. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to torso crunch there. It's a joint there. You can hear it kind of clicky ratcheting uh, there at the shoulders as well. Bicep swivel, dual hinged elbows, although. The, the lower one ratchets, but the, the big bulky forearm and shoulder arm are kind of getting in the way. And we does have wrist swivel, the opening fingers. He does have waist swivel. 
ratcheting hips in both directions, thigh swivel, ratcheting knee, and then posable feet. They don't have as much, they do have some tilt to them, not as, not as easy action as you would hope, and some toe articulation. And he'll retain that in his fully combined mode, which we'll get to in just a second here. But there he is, there he is with uh, Victory Leo side by side. Nice looking figures. And again, there is Optimus as a standard comparison to show off the sizes here. You can also, a lot of the stuff can store in different places. You can take this, you can store it. What I usually do is store this, especially when they're, they're double combined mode uh, on the leg. You can store this back here on the peg. You can also, if you wish, the large gun can be stored across his back here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go here or here, but, uh, or you can use this peg right here and peg it in up here and store it on his back. You got some, a lot of options to store it. You plug it into the middle here on his back. The shield can allegedly peg into uh, the combined mode if you want, but it's not a secure connection. The sword you can take right here. There is peg holes on the skirt flap, so if you want to hang it off his hip like a traditional sword, you can do that. Um, you can also take the sword blade, like I said, store it in his leg, and then just kind of take this and store just this on his hip. You can store this across his back. There's a lot of different ways to store things, is my point here. A any weapons. You can have him wielding all the weapons. The way I generally configure him over here is I put the shield over here. And then I put the sword in, the, in this hand. Which I know, is having the sword and shield in the same hand is a little silly, but whatever. Clip that into place. Put that over here. And then the big cannon. You can fold these down to look like they're clipping onto his arm. Um, and you can actually clip this one over his arm. We'll put that in his hand, and then he's got his big cannon. And then this gun, like I said, I will either store here, or when he's got the full, the full combined mode here, you've got enough clearance to put it on his leg, and that's where I usually keep it. So he's all armored up. And since we have been mentioning the big combined mode, let's do it. So basically how it works is you're going to take, uh, again, this, fold this, careful with this hinge, Fold it down over his head. Um, you can fold these down. You don't have to. But flip this head back like this. And then slot the whole center body out of here. The arms fold up. They'll flip the wings out. Uh, rotate the fist. I usually fold it so the flat part's facing out. And then uh, this folds up. Like that, and then this tab right here tabs into the wing. It's not a super secure tab, but just to give you a guide to where everything should set, uh, sit, it tabs there into the wing. Um, this piece kind of folds up like this. This is where the shield's going to attach, but uh, I don't know how much faith I put in that. Anyway, put that up, put the wing down, and peg that into that tab as well. Oh, this comes down. Yeah, this head folds down into the body like this. So you've got this. These pieces lift up, and you rotate the guns around like that. And that's basically the backpack. This peg right here pegs in right here. Kind of these these clip into the smaller clip. This peg goes into the center here um, on the main robot. So just push that all the way in, and then these pant these are. Uh, cannons on the shoulders come in and tab into these little pylons right behind his head those are posable and his antenna are posable as well you can hinge that side to side move that up and down so now he's got a big backpack and then we'll take what's left of victory leo split him in half and it just kind of snaps apart here i'll flip out big toe take this hinge and fold it all the way up into there for this mode this one doesn't have a hinge, it's just on the one side, so just flip out the toe on this side. And then you want to collapse the leg. And again, like I said, take this, fold it about halfway down, and once you get to the, these start to meet up, go ahead and start folding that in so that goes together. Snap it together, super easy, um, no problem. Fold the toe up, 
flip out this little connector piece here, flip out this connector hinge here, and you take this, this tab right here is going to go into the slot on the lower half, and there is one foot, we'll set it over here, and it's the same thing on this side. Collapse that, fold that in, there we go, flip this up and around, tab it together, come on, there we go, flip out the connector piece, flip out the hinge, there's the other foot, so there's the two feet. Then on Saber, or Star Saber, flip the toe in, flip the whole giant red foot back into there, take the foot, and you want to have more of the, you, where the toes and the yellow, you want to, like, the bear bit with the lion foot goes on the inside, everything with, with the, the cannon and everything faces outward. Take this, there's a couple slots here right under the thrusters where this clips into, so clip that together and then take this connector piece and fold it up over the gray piece of the foot. Do the same on the other side. And there is, and this is what I was talking about. Once this is all connected, this gun easily sits right here, kind of hiding back here without any clearance or issues hitting on the floor here. And there is Star Saber all combined and all together. Big, cool, very hefty, like surprisingly, even just without Victory Leo, just the base Star Saber when I took him out of the box was heftier than I was expecting because it's all standard plastic, but it's got a nice bit of heft to it. Um, like I said, that's the easiest way to store all the weapons. You can put the blast effects here in the upper cannons, although again, they're not super solid, so the weight of those does tend to try to make them droop over time um, or very quickly, depending on if it gets knocked around. Um, but you can plug them into the end of the gun barrel. You can use them in a lot of different places. I'm going to show you how that looks. And in either combined robot mode, uh, fully on like this, he'll float a little bit if you don't have Victory Leo uh, attached to him, the full Victory Saber configuration. But this peg right here goes right into this lower peg on his waist. So you can put him on the stand. Um, and with, like I said, with Victor Leo attached and his legs going down, he doesn't quite touch, but he, he does, his feet come down and fit the base of the stand. Um, you can put him in, in, in a more action-y pose that has his leg not touching the stand. Um, and he does have that ab crunch we talked about. Not, not a huge one, but you can give him a little bit more dynamic forward motion here on the stand. With his legs out. And again, the stand is wobbly. It's secure enough. Like, it's not going to... Unless you really, really give it a smack from up here, it's, it's not going to fall over. I'd, I'm more worried... I'd be more concerned that you were going to snap something in the plastic by giving him a good whack than, uh, than him falling over and breaking. Although, I guess if you snap the plastic... I mean, I feel like the plastic would crack and not completely shatter uh, unless you just did it repeatedly. But... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not quite as secure as a Bandai Valk, Valk stand from Macross, but uh, it's a neat display. You can get him in some more dynamic poses on your shelf. And again, let's see if we can get the whole, whole kit and caboodle in there. It's a fantastic package, and uh, the first full Victory Saber we've gotten, because we got Star Saber in the Masterpiece line, and while I know KFC, I think, did an add-on Victory Leo for him, uh, that actually worked pretty well. Um, Hasbro never did. So this is the first full Star Saber we've got, or Victory Saber we've gotten since the old G1 version. I, I have a fondness for the look of the old G1 version. I like his big chunky head. But I, I think overall this is probably a superior, just from posability and everything else, uh, certainly from posability to the, to the uh, G1 version. Cheaper too at this point, although I don't know what the aftermarket's going for on these. Um, again, these outer, the outer red on the wings is paint. This inner red with the, with the black detail is a sticker. And, uh, and it folds around, so there's a seam right here that just where the two parts of the sticker meet that I'm trying to keep from getting caught on things and pulling that open. It works, it works fine, but I do, I do wish they could have painted that uh, the same red as they did out here just so they didn't have to worry about the sticker coming loose or peeling off over time. 
But yeah, really, really lovely set. And he'll make a nice counterpart to Deathsaurus coming out next year. I meant to get out my MMC Deathsaurus, but uh, things are getting moved up and packed around. My mother-in-law's coming to visit here in a couple days, so there's a lot of stuff that is buried under stuff we moved to make room, and uh, he happens to be one of them. I know, I know exactly where he is in the computer room. I just didn't dig him out. But anyway, there's Victory Saber, and again, real quick, let's get him out. We'll pull in the full combined mode. There he is with uh, Optimus. So it's it's a stunning figure. It's nice and massive and a lot of fun. Uh, personally, I, I'm getting my fun out of even just the saber portion of it, just that small little spaceship. It is per the perfect size for flying around and whooshing around the house. Uh, but the, all, the whole package is really nice looking. And uh, if you got him, you know what I'm talking about, provided you didn't have any major quality control issues. But yeah, there is HasLab Victory Saber. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, I think you're on, this is going live on Friday, so I think we're on day six of Hanukkah at this point. But whatever holiday you celebrate, um, I hope it's been a good season. I hope it's been a good year. If not, uh, I mean, it's, it's been a rough year, I think, all around for everybody. But I hope your last year was, was survivable. And I hope your next year is better. Uh, this will probably be my last, uh, unless something surprising comes in, this may be my last video for 2022. Don't think it's going to be my last video ever, but uh, we're definitely winding down. But thank you for watching. Uh, it's been, geez, it's been, what, 14 years at this point <laughs> since we started doing these? So uh, thank you uh, for everybody who stuck around. Thank you for all of you who will continue to stick around. Because like I said, I'm not, I'll still be around from time to time. So anyway, there's Victory Saber. Cool set. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Try to stay safe and healthy and happy and sane. And we'll see you around.